Jeep alarm issues. So we got the uh, the Jeep locked. And we're gonna come in here and we're gonna open it up with the key. And ordinarily you'd hear the horn, but uh, the horn is not going, but you can hear a clicking in the dash. There's a module in behind the dash there. And that's indicating that the alarm is activated. And so we're gonna try and start the Jeep. And it shuts it down. You can hear the clicking. I'll try one more time. It shuts it off. So if we if we unlock the the doors with the fob, we'll be able to start the the Jeep. So we'll go and we'll, uh, we'll look at the book and some information on uh, what this alarm business is all about. The problem I'm having is sometimes it activates and sometimes it doesn't activate. And um, of course the horn doesn't go off, you just hear a clicking. Um, so we've got some issues here. We'll, uh, we'll try to go over and explain it a little better so you can understand it. So I'm going to bring you guys down the rabbit hole with me. Uh, started off I had some alarm issues and I was looking for a fix. I came across some information that told me to ground out this uh, purple and yellow wire. So you take off this cover here to access what is the purple and yellow wire. I spliced this into the purple and yellow wire back here and then I drilled and tapped a hole on the metal frame here to ground it out. So I hooked up that wire, grounded it out, and uh, everything seemed to be fine, seemed to have fixed my alarm issues, and uh, everything was good. And then uh, my battery went dead. Well, it was in the winter time, and it was minus 40, so, you know, batteries go dead in cold weather, so I get another battery. This one was dead. It was beyond bringing back. I uh, get another battery, put it in, and it died too. Um, I shouldn't have in the amount of time that uh, it was in the vehicle, so I started looking at some other issues. So I come around. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this with one hand here, but I'm looking for an electrical draw that is killing my battery. And if we can read that there, 4.23. So I start, I start chasing around trying to find out where this electrical draw is. I go to the fuse box here and I start pulling all the fuses to try and find out where that draw is. You pull a fuse, you go back, you check the meter and when when that uh, number is gone, you've you know, you're on your way to find out what the, what the issue is. When I uh, checked all them fuses, it brought me to fuse number 7 and I do believe uh, pin 9. Anyway, I, uh, I'm chasing that down. I get fuse seven is giving me, goes down to this B, B plus, body control module. So I'm chasing that down. Notice the violet wire there. I'm chasing that down. Honestly, at the time I thought maybe, you know, I got uh, the rear lift gate, I got an interior light that's on, uh, that's draining the, draining the battery, killing my battery. So I was looking at uh, you know door hood and lift gate ajar. I was looking at uh, door lock inhibit, and then I noticed vehicle theft security system. And I go back again 
to the chimes and buzzers warning for the body control module and I'm finding the vehicle theft security system so I'm trying to figure out what this B plus is and it ended up being you know a purple wire so my purple wire ends up being the one that I grounded out right there which is part of that body control module which controls a lot of things and uh, so I disconnect my ground that it grounded it out and I came back and I check my check my draw and it's gone so I found what was drawing down my battery and uh, but problem being now I'm back to my original issue of dealing with uh, the alarm system going off and as I said intermittently it uh, sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work so we'll go back to the book again so I'm just gonna read uh, arming vehicle theft security system Passive arming occurs when the vehicle is exited with the key removed from the ignition switch. The headlamps are turned off. The doors are locked using the power lock switch. The power lock switch will not function if the key is in the ignition switch or the headlamps are on with the driver's side front door open. Will not, uh, will not arm if either front door or the lift gate are locked using the key in the lock cylinder. Active arming occurs when the remote keyless entry transmitter is used to lock the vehicle, even if the doors and or lift gate are open when the transmitter lock button is depressed. However, arming will not be complete until all the doors and the lift gate are closed. Following successful passive or active arming, the lamp on the top of the instrument panel will flash rapidly for about 15 seconds after the illuminated entry system times out. This indicates arming is in progress. Once the 15 second arming function is complete, the lamp will flash at a slower rate to indicate it is armed. Disarming. Passive disarming occurs when the vehicle is unlocked using the key to unlock either front door or lift gate. Active disarming of of the alarm when the vehicle is unlocked by depressing the unlock button of the remote keyless entry transmitter. Once the alarm has been activated, horn sounding, lights flashing and the engine no run feature, either disarming method will also deactivate the alarm. Depressing the panic button on the transmitter will also disarm. But the horn will sound and lights will flash for about three minutes as part of the panic feature. So what does all this mean? On the driver's door here, there's this uh, wire key switch. And that wire will go in behind here and up, and it will go to an indicator. I don't know if you can see in there. On the key lock cylinder. So there's, there's one on the driver's door. And there's one on the left gate. So the driver's door is blocked, this one's red, and then there's another one on the passenger side. Uh, it's gonna be hard to see in here too. Uh, you might just catch that white white thing there, that's, that's the one on the passenger side. When you're, uh, when you're locking your doors, either with the, the switch from the inside or your key fob, that is that's locking your door with the actuator down here and there's a linkage that comes from the actuator and it goes up to the key lock cylinder and there's that indicator in behind there and when that linkage is engaged you can see the little red piece there there you go when you when that linkage is engaged on the end so you've locked it and it's it's activated that indicator and the door is locked and now if you use the fob 
to unlock the door, it'll, it'll be fine. But if you use the key and you unlock the door, then if you were inside, you'd hear a click. So that, that's, uh, that's kind of hit the indicator there. And, and that's what kind of sets off the alarm, right? And see, here's my issue. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't work. And so it, it, it all has to do with this, this indicator in the back. Now, my problem is this one here is, is broken, right? So it's, it's like falling off of there. It won't stay on. And that's, that's kind of why I have it taped here to hold it together for the, for the video. But, um, so, and I don't know if, if you can just disconnect one, I've, I've disconnected one before and, and had some luck with deactivating the alarm, the passenger door in particular. But um, I think if you went around and you disconnected all of your indicators, you don't have to dig in there to get at it. You can just disconnect it here from the, from the wire. On the lift gate, you could just pull this, pull this off of there. And then again on the passenger door, you can you can unplug it down right here if you don't want to dig it out get in there and try and dig that out of there if you are going to do that i suggest that you, you remove the whole wire so it doesn't get caught up in your window with your track or anything like that now if you disconnect all three of those i think you're you know you've deactivated your alarm because there's nothing that's that's indicating that there's a problem, therefore your alarm's not going to go off. And uh, that's my fix for this problem. Um, there's electrical issues here that if, if you have, say, an electrical issue with your switches, right? Because I've, I've had where I've disconnected uh, the switch and, and now my auto locks don't work. So... I don't know about the whole electrical thing, if they're in series or, or how that works, but if you have electrical problems with this, that's going to give you trouble. If you have electrical problems with those indicators, that's going to give you trouble. Um, if if it's just a, a reading thing because this is, you know, this is a wireless device, um, maybe this is in sending the signal and communicating properly that's going to give you issues so all of these things any one or all of them are gonna gonna cause you problems so i think that you know my solution to this is to disconnect those three indicators and you should be good so we've locked the door gonna unlock it here with the key We come in, we can hear it clicking. So I'm gonna deactivate it and I'm gonna go back to the hatch here. And I'm going to unplug our indicator on the hatch. I'm going to try it again. So we've locked it. Doors locked. Unlocked. No clicking. So maybe you just need to disconnect one or all of them, but uh, once the indicator is disconnected, I don't think it's activating the alarm. So I uh, hooked up that indicator in the hatch again, locked it, unlock it. We can hear it clicking again. 
So I'm going to try the passenger side this time. So I'm going to unlock it, stops the clicking. Go around over the passenger side. You gotta hit the unlock twice to unlock all the doors. And if I can get in here, and I've unplugged the passenger side one there, and I'll try again. So I've locked it with the fob. no clicking so that is my fix either disconnect one or all of those indicators and you should have deactivated your alarm just as a final check I uh, plugged in that indicator on the passenger side and I've locked the doors again alarm will go off. And you can hear it clicking. So we've tried it a few times and I think I've proved that uh, once you disconnect one or all of those uh, you've deactivated your alarm. And we'll try and start it. And it won't let it start. We'll uh, unlock it. We've got a running Jeep. So I hope this helps everybody out there with their alarm problems, a little deeper dive, and my explanation on what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and how it works. I'm going to take out the... Uh passenger side uh, lock cylinder here so you can see it it's just a little clip that holds it in there and then that will push out of the door and then you should be able to see here's that uh, that indicator switch so we got the uh, key lock cylinder here and when you when you turn the key this is this is free moving here you got the little stop and when you turn the key that is what's moving this arm with the linkage down to the actuator it's either locking or unlocking the the door um, the automatic locks would would automatically lock it or unlock it and then and then when you're using the key, the key is is uh, forcing that end there to manually lock it or unlock it. So also too, then this is our indicator switch. And mine uh, on the driver's door is damaged in there, and so it is fitting loosely on there. And that was part of my problems with uh, with the alarm. I believe and so when that that holds that on there and then when you're turning when you're turning the key this would be this would hold hold that still and then it would be turning the triangular pin on the end which is then turning turning that on the inside and that's sensing whether the door has been uh, unlocked manually with the key and as I understand it if uh, you're using your automatic locks with the fob or um, the interior door switch you're locking all of the doors at once or unlocking them all at once so if you lock them all at once and then you go in to try to use your key uh, only one of the doors is being unlocked rather than all of them and that's what's sensing the problem 
So um, I think that's that's what the issue is. Could have uh, these electrical issues. You could have these these things could be damaged. But um, if you disconnect these, I'm I'm hoping that fixes uh, fixes the problem.